Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to L.A. Noir, And we're starting out this episode with a pretty significant decision, guys, as to which man to um, arrest here for the arson fires. Now, the first one here is Ryan. Ryan's got a lot of anarchist connections. And when we questioned him about the InstaHeat 70, he actually said, oh, no, I don't know. He was very, very deceptive about the entire thing. And then... We also got Varley over here. Now, Varley is involved in suburban redevelopment, but at the same time, he seems pretty truthful about everything. I mean, except when we caught him in the lie. And he said that the mosquito coil that we found in his locker actually belonged to Ryan. And he was also very honest about what he could do to an InstaHeat Model 70. So it's a very interesting duo of suspects. But at the end of the day, I think I'm going to go ahead and charge Ryan. I'm the, telling you, it'll never the suburban... you'll get roasted. Oh, that's a bad sign. Um, but I think uh, Ryan's the right person to charge. He seemed to be the most oh. unhinged. And he, like, Varley has the murder hey, rap. He's going down cool. anyway. Oh, and boy, you know what I mean? So going. I think charging Ryan is the best way to go. So I guess we will find out. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Oh, we may have done the wrong thing. Uh oh. Phelps. Yes. What you did to your wife and kids was un American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. Okay. What I was going to say before I was interrupted. Was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. Yowza. Okay. 16 out of 16. Woohoo! I like it. Valorous. Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. Well, we'll see what happens there. I mean, we had the the serial killer, the wolf, and all those guys got quietly released. So, we'll uh, see what happens. Flashback times. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. I tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just oh. give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. I'm really hoping that we don't have a born on the 4th of July moment. If you guys have seen that movie. A walk in Elysian fields. Ooh, origami. Oh, 
A lot of origami. Goodness. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is... 650 North Hobart. Well, that was straight and to the point. Did you read about the 12 state case in the papers? That's what okay. The Arson That's victims what investigate case. residential house fire. And off we go. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. Now where's the? Oh, okay, that's not the exit. The I forgot this one has a actual stopped. door, as rust or not rusty, as Biggs just goes through the door. All right. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. New housing developments a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developers gonna have some very angry customers. Any unit in the vicinity is citizen reports of four five seven thirty eight north. The arson desk can be trying to nail that simple for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Wanna bet? Well it kicked the moose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Oh yeah, that or that original guy that we chased down. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head to this call. Can you drive to this one? See what we can do. Any unit in the vicinity is citizen reports of 459 there now at 38 North Catalina, unit A, I'll go to identify. Part 11K responding. 11K Roger, at 459 there now. At 38 North Catalina Street, code 2. Hot property. Cops! Shit! Stop! LAPD! What? Okay. <laughs> Biggs is like, ah, oh, I just got out of the car. Pursue the suspect. Well, he's in a big truck, so... Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. On it. I can't get a target that isn't there, Phelps. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Woo! Gotcha. Oh, nope, no gotcha. I'm hurrying. Where'd you go? All right, I see ya. Whew! Man, he, he's got some maneuverability in that thing. Okay, easy there. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Oh, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna keep on going. But I'm scared to go to prison, mister. They'll take one look at me. That, that's really not my problem. Eh, get in there. Little blush, little foundation. The boys will love you. Boy. Alright, well, that could have been worse. And we're at 29 out of 40 street crime, guys. Only 11 to go. Alright, Biggs. Let's, uh... Head to our scene. Can I actually... There we go. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, but what are you doing, Cole? Okay. Sorry, Biggs. In the car. Oh, goodness. Are we in some sort of glitchy territory? You can drive. What are we doing? You're playing with Biggs' emotions. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was very Benny Hill.
House fire, 11.57 a.m. Saw more suburban redevelopment signs. I hope we put the right person in jail in the last case. Yeah, man. Okay. I mean, we got five stars, but that doesn't necessarily mean we did the right thing. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Yeah. When the coroner says that, that's not a uh, good sign. Do you have a name? Hells Bells. Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? Be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Looks like they're knelt in prayer. What are they doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Ugh. Okay, let's walk away from that, because that's... You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh! Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating bigs. Well, he just had someone, like, disintegrate in front of him. Did he go puke? So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys, on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You getting this? Ooh. Biggs is on the warpath. Remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners, too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. You know what? If we have to go chase down that guy, um, Varley... I haven't done this for years. I am uh, not going to be a happy camper. This town's going straight to hell. You don't look like a fireman, son. You are correct, but maybe the... Well, didn't he? I thought didn't he commit suicide? In the papers, there was that arsonist who was talking to uh, the doctor, Doctor Fontaine, saying that there wasn't supposed to be anyone in the house. I remember that newspaper clipping. 
I have no idea what's going on. Oh well. We'll see what we can do. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Okay, Dudley. Interesting. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Uh-huh. Nothing. Let's doubt that. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. I'm sensing a theme here. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Okay. Houses to be demolished. Let's doubt this one. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. So does this mean we're going to have to talk to Denethor in this case, where we actually get to meet him? You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Hmm. Seems truthy. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. All right, thank you, sir. Now, do we still go ahead and... Uh, investigation music's going on. And it looks like we can still talk to him on the radar. Okay. Well, oh man, sorry. That's creepy. Ooh. What do we got here? Gotcha. Looks like the same model. Oh, Varley. Uh, mm, I was that guy. How did I get five stars then? That makes no sense. All right, well. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Hmm. All right, well. I'm kind of bugged now. Let's see. We'll just kind of keep on checking up on stuff. Waiting for the dung dung dungs. What are you looking at? Got this stuff over here. We got, like, some foundations actually came down. Is that a newspaper? <laughs> Housing development burns. Ex-servicemen irate as GI houses raised. Five more dead in North Hobart Boulevard plays. Police chasing potential firebug. Rancho and some... Oh, that word. On Fountain Avenue, left in ruins. How did you get my number, Ira? 
At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. So, probably not Varley. That definitely wasn't him. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Okay, that's interesting. What we got over here? Oh, lack of music. Never mind. Well, let's go talk to uh, Dudley again. Is cheap. Try hiring a lawyer. Okay, can we? Okay, we can't talk to you. Maybe we can go talk to some citizens or something. Oh, what? Huh? Hello? Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Calderon. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Interesting. All right, guys. You have anything to add to this? Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Okay, maybe not. Here's but, what I heard. but these were. This was in Dudley's. Uh, oh, the guy who did the dive, they covered it up. Let's talk to Dudley one more time, and then we'll head into the house. Oh, we unlock suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Hmm. Pile of smoke Calderon cigarettes found in front of neighboring residents. I think you're covering for someone, Foreman. Who is it? And I think you are off your rocker. How can you make an accusation like that? What proof have you got? Hmm. I don't think those are enough, really. Looks like I was mistaken. Can we doubt it? You sure, Mr. Foreman? There we go. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Building what? a better California. We want to buy your old Very home. Asian fields developments. So we do get to go ahead and talk to Denethor, maybe. Leland Monroe. Oh, I see you already have one. Oh, win a trip to when Catalina did the Island. When arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. 
This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Huh. Interesting. I'd strongly suggest that you do not um, go on a trip anytime soon. And it looks like we can go ahead and use the phone, but I also want to head into the house and see if there's anything that I may have missed. Oh, yep. Entire rooms. I don't think we can go upstairs, though. Got a brush. Or what was remaining of a brush. Hmm. Are you in here, beer bottle? We haven't seen you in a bit. Flashlight? I don't think so. Can't go into that room. Where's the kitchen? Or where was the kitchen, to be more accurate? Ah! Hmm... Oh! Oh, look at the doll. Yeah, I kind of agree with Biggs on this. We need to go ahead and just, uh... Do a little... Classic justice. Cowboy justice. On this guy. Especially if he... Oh, yeah, let's head downstairs and see. There's water. Fly spray. That can't be everything. That must have been one hell of an explosion. It's alright, Cole. We're gonna bring the hammer down. And can we go in there? Nope. Okay, I guess not. I think that's everything that we can actually look at here in the house. Unless we can... Nope. Well, let's go ahead and use the phone real quick. Oh, check the mailbox. No. Man, how horrible, especially due to the fact that there was a, uh, a telephone, police telephone, right outside the fence. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, Operator? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mabel. Commander? Leads on the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Yeah. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's at that end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Alright guys, and we will head over to the Rancho at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. I guess it's one of those things that it didn't matter who you arrested. Um, it was going to basically be the wrong man. 
But uh, if you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.